Hello, I'm Officer Greg, and I'm here today to talk to you about a crisis that is plaguing our nation. That's violence against cardboard Americans. You see, these members of our recycled population just want to wake up in the morning, take their little kids to school, go to work, do a good job, and come home safe. But every day, tens of these innocent individuals are needlessly gunned down in our city's streets, farms, and ranges all over the country. It's this type of violence that causes these individuals to have to seek employment in places like Amazon, FedEx, UPS, and mailboxes, etc. They're forced to take these meaningless jobs just to find a safe place to work to avoid this senseless violence. So that's why I urge you to take action. Join people like me and Carl. Call your mayor, your city councilman, your local congressman, your member of parliament, or any old cabbage farmer. Let them know that you join Officer Greg in the fight against violence against cardboard Americans. Let's make our streets, front porches, and recycling bins safe once again. Thank you. Welcome back, Original Gangsters. Officer Greg out here with you today at the OG Compound, deep behind enemy lines in Central Cal Unicornia. I'm bringing you something a little bit different today. I've had a lot of people ask in recent videos, oh gee, how do you make those cardboard targets that you shoot out at the range of the abandoned cartel runway? Well, it's actually a pretty simple process. So follow along here at OG's Arts and Crafts Hour and I'll show you how, come on. So these cardboard targets are relatively simple to make. You can make different versions of them if you like, but they're handy, they're reusable for a time, and uh, you can make them out of regular old household materials. Let me show you how. So one of my daughters recently bought a refrigerator at Home Depot. Left me with some big giant sheets of cardboard. I also happen to have some other panels of cardboard brought from Costco and even an old TV box. You just need to start with a large sheet of cardboard and then we'll cut it down to size. So if you don't already have a size template, such as an old Target backer from the range, you can even borrow an old shot up shitty one to lay down for a size. A good rule of thumb is about two feet by three feet is, is roughly a good size, especially if you're stapling it to your own one by two inch stakes. I'd like to introduce you to my youngest daughter's cat, Turd Ferguson. She adopted this cat and then left for college. And guess who didn't go away to college? Turd Ferguson. She named him Blue, but uh, his Christian name is Turd Ferguson. Get out of here. Just take an old carpet knife. Another pro tip. Never put your own body pieces in the direct line of this knife blade in case it slips. Bada boom. Recycling at its finest. Pro tip, use the factory edges on the cardboard. One less line you have to cut. Okay, we've got a couple of pieces of uh, blank cardboard cut out. Yours might come with or without a cat. All right, for this next step, I recommend you put down a large sheet of cardboard on your lawn, your driveway, your living room floor, your wife's bedspread, whatever you like, so that you keep paint from getting on the surface that you're working on. Trust me, the range will be the least dangerous place for you if you get paint on her bedspread. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how I made my targets. Then I'm going to address the bitching, moaning, and complaining I'm sure that's to follow. I bought heavy duty steel targets from LV Steel in Las Vegas, Nevada. I needed some quick targets for a video I was making a couple months ago, and I thought I'm gonna swing by and grab that swinger target and use it as my template. I'm gonna try and get this thing squared up on the carpet on the cardboard a little bit. 
it. If I just lay it on there, spray around the perimeter with some standard old rattle can black. Obviously the bigger cloud of color you put around your target, and it can be any color, the more visible it is from distance. Are you guys ready for the big reveal? Are you sure you can handle that kind of excitement? Mm. So when I remove that giant chunk of steel, I've got a nice silhouette of a target. Easy to shoot at. Negative targets like this with a lighter background actually make hits easier to see than if you're shooting at a black target. So I like my bad guy being cardboard colored and the outlying being the color. This steel target down here happens to have the six inch swinger plate knocked off by some idiots that shoot it with a rifle. So I had this negative area here to paint a nice little center of mass dot in the center. But you can do the same thing with a salad plate and a pencil. Trace yourself a nice little circle or make yourself a template. Now let me address the bitching and moaning. But oh gee, I don't have a $300 piece of police range steel target to use. I got you, boo. Pro tip, don't carry your freshly painted piece of steel up against your expensive vertex pants. I got black paint all over my britches. Just had to use gasoline and clean them up. So there's currently a no smoking rule around OG's junk. All right. If you don't have an expensive piece of range steel that you can use, I went down to Home Depot and for $8.61, Home Depot or Lowe's, I don't remember. I'm not racist. $8.61, I bought this little piece of MDF. Rigid little material, dirt cheap and easy to draw on, easy to cut. So there's a few different ways I can make my template. If I'm ballsy and a little bit artistic, I can just take any old Sharpie, Mark 1, Mod 0, and I can make my humanoid shape in here. So from experience, let me show you this. You want to have your corners rounded here. If you lop off straight, perfect corners, you're likely to get a crack in here and the thing will bust through. Leave nice rounded corners as you cut around. Lollipop shaped head. I would thicken up that neck a little bit as I cut it out so that that neck doesn't snap off. And also I wanna leave nice wide pieces of wood out here. If I make a nice little thin strip of wood and make my target too wide, then that little strip of wood is later gonna crack when we cut out that piece in the middle. Let's flip it over and I'll show you how I would rather do it. Nice clean piece of MDF waiting for us. If you have access to such a thing, even one time, maybe out at your local range, you can always lay your steel target down on your MDF and make yourself a template that you can take home. And of course, this is gonna work with any old steel that you want to use. But OG, oh, I told you I'm a simpleton. I don't have access to any steel whatsoever. Did I tell you I would take care of you? Come on. I recently got a new box of these Action Targets Law Enforcement Silhouettes for my CCW class. I'm gonna put one of them to work for you. I don't want such a broad shouldered guy. I'm gonna bring his shoulders in here and actually follow this line down, but you get the idea. And remember our round corners. Now we're just gonna take our Sharpie, trace this outline. Uh, no. No.
And so now I've got a positive and a negative that I can paint through. Let's put on some cardboard and give it a try. Oh, oh gee, that is a beautiful target. And if you don't have a steel plate like I brought from the range, this is where your wife's salad plates will come in handy. And there it is. Might not be the prettiest target, but hey, we made it at home. Had a scrap cardboard that comes with all of the Amazon packages and crap we buy today. Thank you, Jeff Bezos. Obviously, there's a million different ways to make these targets. You guys decide what you like best. But now that I have a nice MDF template, I can take the steel target back to the range and uh, leave it there. I can have this. MDF template hanging up in my garage, make myself some cardboard targets just for my own use anytime I want. So now we've built our targets, we've hung them out here at the secured firing range. We're into the watchful eye of a certified law enforcement shooting instructor, YouTube. Let's go ahead and try some different calibers against them and see if they even work. Maybe this has been a colossal waste of your time, which is pretty much the theme of all OGDS videos. Let's try some 45 from the Smith & Wesson M&P 45. Oh, oh, gee, that's fake news. Sure, they worked on 45. How do they work on 9mm? Let's ask the brown beast. have faith that my cardboard targets will work with real calibers. Let's give it a try with a 40 caliber in Glock 22. So there it is. That's as complex as it gets. Very easy to paint. You can do it with uh, materials you've got sitting around the house for the most part. You can make them super simple or super complex with a whole nother circle added to them to give yourself another aiming point. So there you go. Let me know in the comment section below if this was helpful or if this was so elementary stupid that uh, you can't believe you just wasted all these minutes watching a damn video about how to paint cardboard. All right, I thank you guys for stopping by and watching my OG's Arts and Crafts Hour. I hope you liked it. I hope you found it useful for making your own targets and using up some of your scrap cardboard. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up down here below. If you didn't like the video, who asked you? Keep your mouth shut. I've got to head out here, grab some gear and a shotgun, go pick up Mrs. OG for lunch, and then head out to the abandoned cartel runway where Jeff and I are going to shoot some, probably some slugs. All right, you guys be safe out there. And until next video, OG out. You see, it's this kind of senseless violence that causes these. <laughs> I got my daughter's cat, Turd Ferguson, interrupting the shot, and he's unlikely to go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Place get out of here, you <laughs> little turd. Turd Ferguson, get. Go, 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 go. Go lay around somewhere else, you worthless sack of shit. They're forced to take these meaningless jobs just to find a safe place to work to avoid this senseless violence.